Welcome back to a brand new episode of the... I don't know why I did like that. I don't do this anywhere else in life, this clapping thing. Welcome back today to a brand new episode, finally, of The Drunk Chef. And today what I'm going to make is a chicken jus stock. This is a Thomas Keller recipe from his Bouchon cookbook. It's fantastic. I make it about three or four times through the year and portion it off so I have it for sauces and for soups and just little things that I use along the way. And it's pretty easy to make, um, so this is how you do it. So what do you need? Of course you need about you need chicken. You need about six pounds of like I've got chicken backs here and I got some chicken quarters that are very very cheap to buy. Um, you need about six pounds of chicken. You need parsley, a carrot, some leeks, a couple Spanish onions, fresh thyme, bay leaf, garlic, some black peppercorns, and kosher salt. Pretty simple stuff. And you'll need some water of course too. But we'll get there. So I've had the oven preheated to 450 degrees. And I actually put the roasting pan in the oven for about 10 minutes or a little bit more just so we get nice and hot as well for the bones. So I got my roasting pan out, uh, my sketchy roasting pan. And I'm just going to basically put some olive oil in this. And then here I've got all my chicken broken down. Like, like I said, it's about six pounds of chicken backs, legs, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it's best to cut, cut up into smaller pieces if you can because then it exposes the bone and the marrow inside. You want all that stuff for flavor. So we're going to put this right into our roasting pan. So we're going to put this back in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. We just want the tops to start getting nice and brown. Okay, so while our bones are in the oven and uh, browning on the one side, um, the other thing we want to do is add a bit of color to our stock. And we, the way we do that, or the way Thomas Keller suggests you do that, is you take a cast iron pan, this is a small one, a little 10 inch, and I've got this nice and smoking hot. You can just kind of see the smoke coming off a little bit. Uh, so I put it over medium high heat for about two to three minutes. And I'm going to take half of a Spanish onion and I'm going to put it down on it and I'm just sort of move it off the side. In other words, you can see that half the cast iron pan is on the heat and the other half where the onion is, is not. And so what we're going to do is actually just roast this, just like this, for about 30 minutes. And like I said, this is supposed to add and it will add lots of color uh, to our stock. And my onion back here, let's just take a look at this. Good, good, good. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes. Things are looking nice and brown here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn all these over and to this I'm gonna add in one carrot and a quartered onion into the pot and it's all gonna go back in for another 25, 25 minutes or so again, just so the other side is starting to look nice and brown. Okay, good. The uh, chicken's all roasted roasted here. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the uh, vegetables and the chicken, and I'm just going to drain it in this. Uh, in this. And uh, I'm going to pour off the fat that's in the bottom of the pan. So I've taken off the um, bones and vegetables, and now I've poured off all the fat, and I'll put it back over medium heat. So the reason I want to do this is I really want to kind of um, see all this like dark stuff around the edges like they call it fond um, basically that's a lot of flavor and we don't want to leave that behind right so I'm gonna pour some water into this I'm basically gonna let this sort of cook down and simmer down over the heat and I'm gonna try to scrape away all of that dark goodness and it's gonna go into the pot with everything else again this is all flavor here we want all this don't want to throw this away Plus, it's a real pain to try to clean off if you try to clean it off now. But doing this with the water and just trying to get it scraped down away from the edges is perfect. And it will be going into the pot very shortly with the bones. Okay, this has been simmering now for uh, almost five minutes. And you can see I've got all the stuff pretty much scraped down. And it's it looks already amazing, right? And again, we're going to pour this into the pot uh, along with the water. So uh, it will go into our stock. Where I need one of those stupid selfie sticks. Okay, 
Okay, so I've added, this is my third quart of water. And I'm gonna just actually just a little more, just to cover up these, uh, these bones. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, just take a spoon and just sort of skim some of the fat off the top of the water. Again, uh, we don't want a really fatty stock, so I'm gonna try to move, remove fat as we, uh, as we can. And once I do that, I'm gonna then add my charred onion that we charred earlier and just a bit of salt. And we slowly wanna bring it to a simmer, okay? So don't crank up the heat and turn it up high. We wanna slowly bring this to the simmer so we can sort of scoop away any scum or any impurities that come out of the uh, chicken. Again, this is, not to, this is not a fast way to do this, but it's a better way. Okay, I let the stock simmer for about 15 minutes over medium heat. Now just turn it down actually a little bit lower to pretty much low. And I'm gonna to add to that uh, two leeks. And in here I'm adding basically a, um, a garlic, uh, garlic head of garlic cut in half, about 12 peppercorns, uh, three bay leaves, the rest of the onions, some fresh thyme, some parsley, and uh, in it goes. Get this all mixed. Oh, it smells so good already. So I'm gonna let this simmer now for about uh, almost three hours, about two, two, between like two and three quarter to three hours. Just gonna let it simmer nice and low, not gonna bother it, just let it sit here and do its thing. And uh, we'll be back later after that. Okay, it's been about three hours and the stock smells great, it looks great. And what I'm gonna do now is carefully ladle it out of the pot into this measuring cup. I've got a little strainer here, um, just so we don't get any bits and pieces uh, of chicken or whatever into the stock. We also wanna pour it because pouring it would sort of cloud the stock up. We wanna keep it as clear is possible. So I'm going to ladle out um, most of the liquid. I'm imagining going to be about two quarts. Now what I can do is either just cool that down. Um, if you want something a bit thicker, you can actually reduce that down even further if you want to like maybe four cups or like a quart of chicken stock. That'll give you a very rich jus. I'm basically looking for something sort of in between, something I can use in stocks but also uh, for sauces. Um, and once I've done that, actually, I can add about another uh, two or three quarts of water. And again, let it just simmer down for another two hours. And that'll give me a lighter stock. But again, it's stock I can use for mostly soups uh, or braising or that kind of thing. So it, this one does sort of a double, double duty, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to sort of ladle the stock out. So I've ladled out a couple uh, quarts here of the stock, which is great. Again, like I mentioned, you could reduce it down further if you want something um, a little more intense. This is perfect for me. I can use this for soups or I can use this for sauces, something nice and in between. And I'm gonna add another two or three quarts back to this pot um, and reuse the chicken and vegetables. Uh, to also give me a, just a lighter stock, again, that I can use for braising. Uh, I get it for soups, um, but this stuff is really good, really intense flavor, and I really like it. So if you do make it, let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoyed this first episode back uh, back for season three, I guess, and um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Thanks. I used to drink.